Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to tonight's lesson, lesson 2.1, Multiplication Comparisons. Now, tonight we are going to be working in our Go Math book on page 23. So please get out your Go Math book and turn to page 23. When you get there, I would like you to write down the essential question at the top of page 23 where it says name, you're going to write down this question right here. It says, how can you relate multiplication equations and comparison sentences? So go ahead and write this down on page 23 in your Go Math book and we'll get started. Please remember boys and girls that you can pause and rewind this video at any time so that you can make sure that you're keeping up with us. Okay, let's look at number one in your Go Math book. It says that you're going to write a comparison sentence. Now, you can relate multiplication equations and comparison sentences. So what that means is I can have an equation for multiplication that looks like this, six times three equals 18. And I can write that in a sentence, six times as many as 3 is 18. Now, I want you to notice that in our sentence we have some keywords that go along to the equation that they give us right here. Now, 6 times, well here I have 6 times as many as 3, well now we have 6 times 3 equals, and now for the equal sign we have the word is, and our answer is 18. So 6 times 3 equals 18. 6 times as many as 3 is 18. Now I'm going to show you a model that's going to demonstrate this comparison sentence and this multiplication equation. Now, boys and girls, if you look here, I drew a model to represent the 6 times as many as 3 is 18. Now, if you notice, I have a rectangle here, and this bottom rectangle is representing my 3. Now, above the rectangle, I have the same rectangle representing 3, but I have it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, times. So what it's saying is that I have this 3. I At the top I have it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So 6 times 3 is 18. And I could add up all of these 3's to get my answer as well. And I would know that if I add up 3 6 times I would get 18. And now I'm going to draw a bracket on top that's telling me that all of these threes added together, or if I multiply three six times, then I'm going to get 18. And that's my model that goes along with my multiplication sentence and my comparison sentence. So what I would like from you, boys and girls, is if you could draw this model that I've drawn here, in your Go Math book right underneath number one. Go ahead and pause the video and draw it for me. Press play whenever you're ready to come back and join us. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to look at number two now in our Go Math book and we're going to answer it together. So, number two, our equation is 63 equals 7 times 9. Now, they want us to write the comparison sentence. So they give us the equation here, and now we need to fill in the blanks for the, se the sentence. So now, if you notice that this equal sign always represents the word is. So you can see that our is is coming first, and so our answer, so it's just like saying 63 is... blank times as many as blank. So let's look at our numbers in our equations. 7 times 9. So I can say 63 equals 7 times 9. 63 is 
seven times as many as nine. Now that is filling in our comparison sentence with the equation that they give us. 63 is seven times as many as nine. 63 equals seven times nine. Fill in these numbers with me in your Go Math book. Okay, we're going to jump down to number three. Number three says five times four equals 20. That's the equation that they give us. They want us to write a comparison sentence. Well, let's look at the blanks that they give us. Hmm times as many as hmm is hmm. So remember, that equal sign is going to go to the is. So I know that hmm times as many as hmm is going to be 20. It's going to equal 20. So let's fill in 20 there for us. And then we can say, well, 5 times 4 equals 20. Well, 5 times as many as 4 is 20. Now let's look at the comparison model that goes to the sentence and to the equation. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to draw this model along with me in your Go Math book next to number three. So now, as you can see, we have our rectangle, and this rectangle is going to represent the number four. So I'm going to draw a number four here. That means that this, re this rectangle is representing four. Now, I have to have five times as many as this one rectangle that's representing four. So in my rectangles on top, I'm going to place the number four. And as you can see, I have it five times. So now let's look. I have this four, one, two, three, four, five five times and those fours added up together or four times five that is going to all equal 20. So this model is showing me that that five times four equals 20 or five times as many as four is 20. I hope you drew this model with me in your Go Math book. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at number four. They want us to write a comparison sentence. Now, our equation is 48 equals 8 times 6. Now, boys and girls, I would like you to try this question on your own. Our blank, our comparison sentence says, hmm is hmm times as many as hmm. So go ahead and pause the video, answer the question, and press play, and we'll go over the answer together. Okay, let's go over our answer. So we can see that our is is going to be representing our equal sign. So 48 equals 48 is 8 times 6 or eight times as many as six. Did you get that one right, boys and girls? Great job. Let's move on. Now let's look at number five. Our question has changed a little bit. It says that now we need to write an equation. So that means we need to write the problem down for the comparison sentence. So they're gonna give us the sentence and they want the equation. So let's go over that. It says, two times as many as eight is 16. Well, two times as many as eight, now remember that is represents the equal sign, is 16. Two times eight equals 16. Two times as many as eight is 16. Now, boys and girls, I want you to see if you can draw the model that goes to this equation and sentence. Remember with the rectangles like we did in the previous questions? Now, if you're having trouble, you can always go back and rewind the video to see how I drew the other models. So go ahead, press pause, see if you can draw the model for me, and then we'll go over the answer. Okay, boys and girls, let's come back and let's look at our model. Here's the model that I drew. Now I'm going to have 
the rectangle on the bottom representing the 8. Now I'm going to have this 8 2 times because it says 2 times 8 is 16. So I'm going to have my 8 2 times and these two 8's together represent the answer 16. And that's what my bracket is showing me here. Now, if you didn't get it right, that's fine. Go ahead and fix your model so it looks like mine, and we'll move on. Okay, boys and girls, we need to write an equation that goes to this comparison sentence. Number 6 says 42 is 6 times as many as 7. Go ahead and pause the video and work this one out on your own. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, so... Our sentence said 42 is 6 times as many as 7. So now we have to have 42 equals 42 is 6 times 6 times as many as 7. And here's our 7. Did you get that one right? I am so proud of you. Give yourselves a happy face. Good job. Now, boys and girls, for number 7, 8, 9 and 10, I want you to circle those and I want you to work on those on your own. So make sure that each one of those has a circle. You're going to work on those on your own and we're going to check them tomorrow in class. Go ahead and do that for me now. Let's look at number 11. It's our problem solving question. It says, Alan is 14 years old. This is twice as old as his brother James. How old is James? Well, we can draw a model to show how to find out this answer. Well, boys and girls, I drew a model. Now, I know that Alan is 14 years old, and this is twice as old as James. So really, my model is showing me, and I have Alan and James, my model is showing me that 14 is two times as many as something. Now we know that they are asking us how old is James? Well, we need to know, figure out James's age, and then we can fill in our, our model. Well, I know that two times something equals 14. I know that two times seven is 14. So how old is James? James is seven years old, and we can write that down in our model, and this is twice as old, or Alan is twice as old as James. So we're gonna have seven, and we're gonna have it two times in the box, and that all equals 14. Let's look at number 12. It says there are 27 campers. This is nine times as many as the number of counselors. How many counselors are there? Well, we know that we have 27 campers and this is, that's our equal sign, nine times the number of counselors. So we don't know what that is yet. How many counselors are there? Well, all I have to do is think. 9 times something is 27. So I know you know your multiplication facts, and you know that 3 times 9 is 27. So 3 is our answer. That goes in the blank. That's how many counselors there are. Now, boys and girls, for your homework tonight, along with this video, when you get done watching, you're going to answer on page 24, numbers 1 through 6, on your own. And we are going to go back and check these tomorrow in class. So I want you to make sure that you understand that numbers 1 through 6 on page 24, you have to do those tonight, and we are going to check those tomorrow in class. Now, at the bottom of page 23, we are going to assess ourselves. So we're gonna find out how we feel after watching this lesson. Now, do you feel like you're a level one, a novice? I'm just starting to learn this and I don't really understand. How about an apprentice, level two? I'm starting to get it, I still need coaching. Level three is a practitioner. That means that you can do it by yourself, but sometimes you might get stuck.
And level four means that you feel like you're an expert, that you understand it so well you could teach it to someone. So I want you to think about how you feel after watching this video and go ahead and write what level you feel that you are right now so that I can see tomorrow in class how you're doing after watching the video. So I want you to write this down on the bottom of page 23 for me. Here are your homework questions again for tonight. Remember page 24. Good luck on your homework and we will see you tomorrow in class. Bye.